One day, I was taking a walk down among the shade of the trees, out along the river bank, just enjoying the cool breeze. Free to let my mind wander, passing thoughts with ease, like the wind dancing through the overhanging trees. And I remembered a story that I'm going to share with you today, if you so please, about a man who thought faith was all about make-believe. I could tell you now, he's in for rude awakening. This man first began as a fame-thirsty weatherman, practically a prophet. He predicted and postulated, and in the end believed that it was he that conjured each day the sun, the wind, and the rain. Vain though his shame stood tame against his wish to proclaim such things. Fame, however, eluded his name, and he concluded he'd aim for another trade. He embraced the agricultural game. So intent on flexing the weather in his veins, he goes out and pays for 8,800 square acres of desert, thinking he himself will raise the land when he shouts and refrains in his own name. Let this desert be filled with life-giving rain. Man, you should have seen the look on his face after 88 days of not a solitary drop of rejuvenating rain. But then, the angry was out of the cage and this man rampaged his way across the state until he was face to face with the concept that faith was how he remained oblivious to his own failure and pain all the way back to his weatherman days. After all, a misplaced faith can drive a man from places whence he never came. Can you believe it never crossed this would-be farmer's brain until that day when he attained crisis stage levels of disdain for himself? that he didn't actually change the climate or even guess the right time frame for rain, even at the height of his weather game. No, no sir, on that fateful day, God made plain to that barely sane weather vane that it was only through God's voice and the power of his name to originate, tame, and rearrange his creation for the glory he and he alone proclaims for and in his grace and for his gains. And you could see it in our man's face, the anguish replaced by a peace, an emancipating relief that faith in God's way is so great a salvation, that spreading the glory of his name is already something the rest of God's creation is declaring anyway. So let us not be the only ones silent and ashamed about whose kingdom really reigns, because he is worthy of our praise and our faith. And that's the story of why I spread Jesus' name. <laughs>